you cannot conserve biodiversity and wildlife and threatened ecosystems if you do not consider the health and livelihood of the people who live in there. They have been there before anybody else. It is their land. Sadly, because of historical reasons and background, they have been destituted from their rights to manage their natural resources. And because of that, we have, in, we, have, we have a situation where actually biodiversity has been degraded because in many areas where you still have local and indigenous people, biodiversity is still there because they know how to use it. They know how to respect it. Mozambique, we realized that local fishermen actually knew exactly where the fish were the most abundant. They used to call, call it the fish bank and the elders knew exactly that these areas in the, in the reef was the most productive and this was confirmed later on by marine biologists that came from, from other places. It's now become a hope, hope spot for biodiversity simply because we helped the communities to regain the rights to manage their coral reefs. So these communities are actually the poorest of the poor. And how can you help them to protect their biodiversity and natural resources when actually their struggle is just to feed the children every, every night, just to protect the crops against elephants or protect you know, their families against predators. So you have to address these risks which are coming from the environment and reduce poverty levels, reduce malnutrition, and improve food security, improve livelihoods. All these activities have got a cascade of effects, which is why we're calling it One Health, because every time it benefits the health of animals, health of people and their families, health of the environment. We have realized that women have played a key role in managing natural resources. Obviously, they have specific roles. They collect water, they collect firewood, they produce the food that is going to feed their families. And through them, you can really bring change in these communities and improve the livelihood. If you want to improve things, working with women have got incredible repercussions.